Now let's talk about reduction games. Number and digit are playing a game. They count the next one, two, or three consecutive natural numbers at a time in turns, starting from one. The person who counts to 42 is the winner. If number wants to win the game, and the game starts with him, what numbers should he count first? Now to get an idea of this game, it would look like the first player gets to either say one, or one, two, three, or one, two. Once they've made their selection, either one, one, two, or one, two, three, the next player could either say two, or two, three, or two, three, four, and so on with the rest of the examples. If the first player had said one, two, then the second player could say three, or could say three, four, or could say three, four, five. Now, let's start working backwards. If we know that the winner is going to be the person that says the number 42, what would the winner have to say before, the round before they get to 42? They were going to say 42. If the time beforehand they had said 41, would they win? No, because then the other player would simply say 42 and would win. Could they say 40 and win? No, because then the other player could say 41 and then 42 and still win. If they had said 39 the time before, the other player again could have said 40, 41, 42. So, this player needs to say 38 in order to win. If you get the number 38, then you can win because no matter what the other player says, whether it's 39 or 3940 or 394041, you can always use your 1, 2, or 3 numbers to make up to 42. Using this same pattern, the winning numbers would be 42, 38, and then back another step would be 34. If you subtracted another 4 from it, you would get down to 30, and so on, all the way back down to 2. Therefore, to start, if number wants to win, he's going to have to count 1, 2, 